Okay, so I never even thought that I had ever experienced apathy before, you know, March of last year. And I wonder if apathy is something that you have experienced uh, during quarantine. And if you have, stay tuned because we're going to go over, you know, five common questions that we ask ourselves when we realize that we are experiencing this and it is a struggle. And I'm really looking forward to talking about this with you because I don't hear anybody talking about it and I feel like it's really, really important. Uh, so let's get started. Um, I've got some little questions here to uh, keep me on track. Uh, so what is apathy? Uh, I didn't really know what it was until one day I was just last year, you know, at the end of March or so. And I was just like, I, and it just came to me, like, I feel apathy and you know, we can all look up a definition <laughs> online. Um, but what it means to me is that normally I feel so uh, such, I have the incredible empathy and I'm an empath and I'm intuitive and you know, I have all these abilities and what I was noticing over and over is like, I don't feel it anything. I was noticing that I was feeling quite numb, which when I'm used to feeling all the feels, to feel none of them was so stark and it felt so barren and it was such an interesting experience and I didn't really understand that. Well, fast forward a year later and it's kind of been like this. And I wonder if that's how it has felt for you as well going through quarantine because there are times when I do feel myself and I am full of joy and life is feeling really awesome and I, I feel like I've got a handle on things and then I go through times of what feels like a desert and I don't feel much and it's not exactly as though I'm experiencing depression, but it is a symptom of depression. And I just don't feel anything. I feel indifference, which is fascinating because I realize how much I miss feeling emotions. Um, and so I would say apathy is to an extent, the opposite of empathy and sympathy and, uh, the loss or the depletion of the ability to feel emotion, even just for one's own life. Empathy is being able to feel it for others. Um, so just the lack of, um, it's, it's so fascinating. Um, so another question I have that came to mind is immediately we feel it. And then I know I have noticed myself feeling, well, how do I get out of this? Like, what do I do? How do I change this? You know, what, what can I do to snap out of it? And what I have found over this last year is that I stopped doing that to myself. And the reason I stopped doing that to myself is because I want to get away from the idea that anything that I'm going through during this very challenging, interesting, fascinating time of the world, that I want to get away from telling myself that whatever I'm feeling is wrong. Because if I'm having a day or a week where I'm experiencing some more extreme apathy than normal, so be it. That's just where I'm at. And I've come to think of it as a coping mechanism because being, especially for me, being an empath, I feel so much that sometimes when I look at the world through my lens, it is a lot. And it's, there's only so much I can deal with over and over and over. And so I feel as though my spirit gets to a point where she says, okay, sweetie, we've got to put this on hold for a little bit. We just need to regroup and refill the tank. And so apathy, I am beginning to think of is a friend. And I know that that might sound so bizarre, 
but I truly believe it is something that is helping to keep me sane and helping to keep my my spirit and my emotions and my physical body in the game at this time. I think of it as like taking a little bit of a break and then I notice that when I just accept that it's happening and don't judge myself for it, it doesn't last that long. It might be a couple days or it might be a week or two and then I'm feeling back to myself or more like myself and I'm feeling emotions and I'm empathic and I'm feeling joy and I'm feeling harmony and you know I'm in the flow um, so I gosh I want to say in if you're asking yourself too how do I overcome this I'd say the first thing is to let go of the uh, belief that there's anything wrong with it um, I think that it is a very normal reaction to what we're going through and to really allow yourself to be super gentle with yourself so the third question I have for us is, why am I feeling it? What is this all about? What is empathy or what is, um, you know, apathy? Why am I experiencing it? And in one word, I'd say overload. We're overloaded. And when a system gets overloaded, we often do a reset. And I have begun to think of um, apathy as a bit of a reset. I'm not saying it's the best reset, but I'm saying it's a reset that we have the ability to utilize and not judge ourselves for because we're going through something so unprecedented that I really believe that new ways of being are being called forth and to be really, really extremely gentle with ourselves as we navigate what those new ways are. Um, so we are feeling it because of overload. It's all a lot and you know, it's almost like a power down, a little bit of a power down and then we come back. Okay. So it's not something to judge yourselves for or to be harsh about something to just allow, accept it. It's okay. Love on yourself during that time. Okay. Number four, will it go away? In my experience, going through quarantine and experiencing apathy, that yes, it goes and it ebbs and flows. It comes for a time and then it goes away. I feel apathetic for a day or two and then I don't and I feel great and my life feels like I'm on track and I've got this. And then here comes my friend apathy again and you know, yes, it goes away and yes, it comes back is the best answer I could give you. Now, don't get me wrong, there are examples of apathy where if you have, you know, clinical depression or you're really, you deal with anxiety, depression, it is also a symptom of Alzheimer's, you know, apathy um, that is very rarely looked at or, you know, researched, but it is a symptom, you know, so there are very serious symptoms of bigger systemic problems um, and issues in the body and the mind. But if we look at it through the lens of experiencing apathy during quarantine, will it go away? Most likely, yes. And one of the main reasons how I can get it to come and go with more ease as we go through this experience on Earth is that A, I don't judge it. B, I look at it as a friend that is keeping me safe. Um, that is giving me rest and a reset. And then number three is I really, really go into grounding work. And when I say grounding work, I literally mean the ground is our best friend. The earth, getting out in nature, walking barefoot on grass, um, sitting on the earth and praying or singing or chanting or meditating um, or just, just taking a nap on the ground. Um, going for a hike, being in the water, going kayaking and swimming, um, climbing trees, uh, cutting the grass, uh, you know, gardening, uh, getting it to go away. If you're feeling pressure, if you're, if you're feeling like, I really don't like this, I really kind of want to snap out of it or get myself out of it. I'd say grounding work. 
Another one is taking baths with Epsom salts. That is one of the ways that when I feel like, okay, I, I feel like I'm ready to come out of this. I, I really want to feel emotions again. I want to feel more like myself. Um, I really hit it hard with the grounding work, um, more so than any other time. I eat my lunch on the grass um, every day. I go outside for during work and uh, eat lunch on the grass. I go for walks. Um, I if I see a pretty if I see a pretty stick or a bush or a feather or a flower that I'm able to pick up and take with me, I take it with me and I keep it on my desk all day. Um, I just really implement any way to have nature be a part of me. I notice that kind of brings me out of that apathetic state and into feeling again and into caring and that has been really helpful to me. If you have a way that is helpful, I would love for you to share it with us in the comments. That would be so cool for us to all share ways that we find that um, we can pull ourselves out of apathy. Um, and then the fifth question I have that I've been thinking a lot about apathy during quarantine is what is it teaching me? I always look at the situations that I'm going through as my great teachers and the people that I have desired or called in to be a part of my life. They are my greatest teachers. So what is apathy teaching me? What, what am I going to gain from this? Um, for myself, um, I've noticed that apathy is teaching me how it can be a friend it is teaching me that to be more gentle on myself because it's easy really easy for me to um go right into judgment if i notice i'm having a morning where i wake up and it's like i really don't want to face the world today i don't give a crap about what's going on i don't want to talk to anybody i don't want to do anything i feel nothing in conventional wisdom and conventional healing it's really easy to go into judgment of like, oh no, I can't do that. That's, you know, I've like, I've got to be spiritual. I've got to, you know, have it all together. I've got to figure this out. No, I'm just really letting that shit go because it's just too much. It's too much and it's honestly just a lie. You know, I'm feeling apathy today and I'm gonna love myself through it. Just as like, if my friend told me they were feeling apathy, I would just love them. I'm not gonna judge them. I'm not gonna make them feel bad of course not so I'm gonna treat myself like my best friend and that's taught me a lot about self-love you know loving myself where I am in the moment being really gentle with myself and being really gentle with my family um, that I think has been the biggest teacher of apathy during quarantine for me what is apathy teaching you um, I noticed another thing that's just coming up is like I noticed that I really like feeling emotions, especially love and trust and, and peace and harmony. And you know, when your life really feels like it's in flow, when I am feeling apathy, I don't feel that. I don't feel like I'm in flow. I feel really stagnant. And I don't particularly enjoy that sensation in my body. So apathy has also been teaching me how much I love higher vibrational states of fe feeling and being. Um, I really miss it when I don't feel it. Um, and that's something that I'm learning about myself as well. So apathy during quarantine is a really, it's a, it's a great teacher to us. You know, it's uh, something that many of us are going through, but I don't see many people talking about it. And I just want to know you to know that it's totally okay, babe. It's totally okay. There's nothing wrong with you. It is a part of what we're going through. And it's a part that you can learn to accept and love and learn from. So I'm so glad you're here. Uh, and uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. So love to you.